Dave Velasquez, the assistant coach for the Aztec, is now with us here. And, uh, you know, Doug Gottlieb came on with us yesterday, Coach, and I appreciate you doing this for us. Um, he, he basically said this could be a Sweet 16 basketball team. Do you see that too? Well, you got to have a little bit of luck to get to the Sweet 16. You know, we're, we're really worried about winning the Mount West Conference tournament right now. And uh, more than anything else, that's our focus and goal. But we got a good basketball team. We got a team that plays hard, shares the ball, and we have some depth that not a lot of teams have. And I think we use it to our advantage. Coach, is there any similarities from a year ago, or is this a completely different basketball team? The only similarities are the players that returned from last year, <laughs> uh, to be honest with you. But, you know, there's an identity that San Diego State has. We play hard. We play together. Uh, we're unselfish. But offensively, we're, we're a completely different team. And defensively, you know, this team, our team this year presses a little more. I think we speed up the tempo. I think we're a little bit more interchangeable than we were last year. So I think there's a, a, a lot of differences more than similarities. Coach, you know, I always ask every single coach, no matter what the sport, and it's funny you brought up the word identity because I love that word. Because each team, sometimes it takes a little time to find that identity. And also sometimes you can find it real quick. I have hear Calipari talk about that all the time because of the way his teams change real quick each and every single year because of personnel. Have the Aztecs found theirs yet? I think you're always trying to figure out until the last game what your true identity is. We have a kind of a core set of values at this point that we won't go too far away from. But I, I think to say, have we figured it all out yet? Uh, probably not. You know, I think you have to watch every tape, every game, and uh, see where you can improve. Dave, what's been the biggest surprise this year? Uh, I think the biggest surprise for us has kind of been, you know, every given night somebody else could step up. And uh, any given night, you know, we can change our defense. And uh, I think that's probably been the biggest surprise. Dave Velasquez, the assistant coach here with the Essex on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. Would you say that this year is deeper than last year, with that being said? Because, like you said, if a, a year ago you leaned on a, a handful of guys to really pull up the scoring, where this year, like you said, each and every single night somebody could be your hero. Yeah, this, this team's got so much more depth. You know, we don't want to play guys more than 33, 34 minutes. Now the exception is J.J. O'Brien or Akil Quinn on certain nights have to, but that's not really where our comfort level is. Like I mentioned earlier, we like the full-court press. Well, the collateral damage of a full-court press is that you get really tired, and, and it's really tough on your legs. And when you lose your legs, you know, you don't shoot the ball as well. You don't move as quick offensively. So, for us, I think our depth helps us on both ends of the floor, and, and, and I think our depth also really starts to wear down opponents, especially in VA I, I I love Coach Fisher, the way he approaches – personalities. I mean, he could take a team like the Fab Five, take last year's team, two years ago's team, uh, what he's doing this year. It seems to me, Coach, that each and every single year he fits to the personality of his team, and his team maybe not so much to the personality of him, which makes him a great manager of egos that are on that team. I mean, uh, it, it, it really is quite uh, cool to watch as an ex-player on how he deals with each and every single team. It's like a new chapter in his coaching career every single year. Is that fair? Uh, that that's very fair, and that's a that's that's an educated uh, kind of response to why Coach Fisher is really good. Uh, he doesn't have a certain system that players get pigeonholed to play in. He, uh, he, he has a what we call freedom within framework. Um, every year, it's fun for the staff. You know, every year we know we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to do whatever we think is the best for our team that year. Not a lot of coaches do that. A lot of coaches say, all right, I, give me my five guys. They're going to run my system. And, and what happens when you do that is some guys' strengths, you know, they don't really come out uh, where they need to, and some guys' weaknesses really come out where they shouldn't. So for us, it's, yeah, I think Coach Fisher does such a great job uh, figuring out what's best for this year's team. And, but with that being said, you better play hard on defense or you ain't playing. (laughs) And coaches and coach will never go away from that. And and it's a focus point of San Diego state. It's why a team like this year's team right now with all the kind of the, the numbers and, and statistics, I mean, second ranked defensive team in the country. So when you look up and say they're 18 to five, why 
you can point to that right there. I would have to say, too, Coach, that that probably is what keeps him energized each year because you basically don't know what you're going to get each and every single year from a Steve Fisher basketball team. Yeah, and Coach is energized for uh, for a lot of reasons, but this is his passion. You know, I think he really, really enjoys coming to work every day. And we have a fun group. It's a family atmosphere. Uh, you know, we bounce ideas off each other all day long. I mean, we're getting ready for Boise State. I've talked to Coach Fisher twice this morning, talked to Coach Dutcher once, talked to Coach Hudson again. And, you know, it's just trying to figure out. I think that's what all keeps energized is kind of the flexibility within our staff and, and Coach Fisher being around all of us for so long. It's, it's a fun atmosphere. Coach, Boise State on Sunday, what do you guys expect from that team? It's for first place in the Mountain West. Well, we expect a lot from, uh, from Boise. They really spread you out, try to drive you. They can shoot the ball. They got the second, fourth, and sixth uh, best three-point shooters in our league. Craziest thing is the second most three-point makes is from their five-man, which, which opens up a whole hoist of issues going into uh, Sunday's game. And then we can't forget uh, Derek Marks is as good a one-on-one player as there might be in the country. I mean, he's a guy that can just get a basket one-on-one. And we have to find a way to use our length, uh, kind of strategize over the next 48 hours on how we're going to stop him from getting too many easy one-on-one looks. That'll be 3 p.m., Aztecs and Boise State right here on the Mighty 1090. And, Coach, good luck for first place on Sunday against Boise State. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank you.